we already knew the new Indiana Jones movie was going to be awful and make the Crystal Skull look like an amazing movie. But new plot leaks from people who have pre-screened the movie have started leaking out and it's far worse than I ever expected. So let's get into it. Alleged Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny plot leak claims Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character makes the heroic choice to knock out Indiana Jones to protect history. An alleged plot leak for Lucasfilm's upcoming Indiana Jones and the Dial Destiny film claims that Phoebe Waller-Bridge's Helena character is the one who makes the critical heroic decision because Indiana Jones refuses to do so. Not only does she make the heroic decision, but the decision is punching Indiana Jones and knocking him out. The guy in the last movie, who rode it in a refrigerator during a nuclear explosion, gets knocked out by a woman. According to Reddit user, Lunk Jones who shared what he claims is a full plot synopsis for the film. At the end of the film, Mads Mikkelsen's Dr. Jurgen Waller is able to complete the Dial of Destiny and attempts to use it to travel back in time in order to kill Hitler, to prevent Germany from invading Poland and committing this big mistake. However, the Dial of Destiny does not take Waller to Sicily in 1939, but rather transport him, Indiana Jones, and Helena, who are aboard airplanes, to the Roman siege of Syracuse. Upon landing on the ground, Indiana Jones, who encounters Archimedes, who also retrieves the complete Dial of Destiny from the corpse of Waller, Archimedes proceeds to ensure the Dial of Destiny can only transport users to him in Syracuse during the siege, while also obtaining one of Waller's watches, giving him knowledge of, on this device. The plot synopsis explains, Helena tells him that Archimedes has rigged the Dial in making sure it only sends him back to Syracuse on the day of the siege so that they could save him. We understand it's thanks to this jump in time that he found the knowledge about watches on how to complete the Dial. From there, Lennon Jones details that Indiana Jones does not want to return to the present, but would rather stay in Syracuse because he believes there is nothing for him in 1969. In contrast, Helena attempts to convince Indy to return to the present, believing if he stays in the past, he would change the course of history. Indy apparently is unconvinced by Helena's arguments, so she resorts to punching him and knocking him out. So it's already not the same Indy Jones that we're used to in the first three movies. But Ford described his character in an interview with the Fandango as not so strong, not so brave, not so attentive, but about to go on a grand adventure with a very fascinating set of compatriots and adversaries. It sounds like he was not a fan of this plot at all. But guys, yeah, I just wanted to touch on the new indie movie because it looks like it's going to be even worse than the Crystal Skulls. It looks like it's going to make the Crystal Skull be a great movie. But guys, make sure you like, leave a comment, and I will be doing a gaming stream tonight, so make sure you hop on for some fun for that.